This year I made a very big step in my programming career and that was to switch from VS Code to NeoVim. That is not to say that VS Code isn't a great editor and the reason as to I've made this switch will be probably covered in a different video. In this video I would like to show you how uh, I'm debugging uh, Lua plugins which are used to customize my experience in, uh, in NeoVim. What I really like about NeoVim is that you have so much granular control on how the experience it is overall. And um, the current situation that I'm facing is that I want to set up um, NeoVim for C and C++ projects. For that I'm, I will need some extensions for example for um, for formatting, for linting, for debugging, for LSP, for syntax and there might be others. And um, the current situation that I'm at is that the formatting doesn't work for me. Um, and that was maybe some context, but um, yeah, what I'm showing you now is two new Vim instances. The first one is the playground that that is currently highlighted, and and basically it is the way I'm testing my configuration on simple files. In this case, I have two files. I have one C and one C++ file, and um, as I've told you, the formatting doesn't work. And in the other new Vim instance, I have my um, my new my entire new Vim configuration more specifically right now I'm um, I'm on the format file that and that is the place where I'm configuring the um, the formatting for all of the files that are um, that I plan to use NeoVim uh, on and uh, as you can see I'm using um, uh, the CLang format for um, C and C++ files and uh, what is this uh, CLang format? Well, you can, uh, in um, NeoVim, um, you have a very useful tool, which is called Mason, which can be thought of as a sort of package manager, but for extensions that concern linting, formatting, debugging, and LSPs, uh, which are very useful for IntelliSense, going to the, to the definition and stuff like that. Uh, and what I want to focus on now is the formatter section uh, where you can see that I have downloaded the CLang format which is simply um, a program that is used for formatting um, C++ and C files. Um, so the first step has been done to download it but the next step is to configure it so that NoVim knows how to integrate that program into uh, your uh, workflow. Um, and as you might have noticed, I am using the same name, the same name that I'm seeing here. So here I'm seeing CLang format with a dash, and um, this is the exact same way I'm using uh, here, um, as you can see. But for some reason, it doesn't work. And the reason I'm, I would expect it to work is that um, here I have another uh, key map set which says that on leader F, which is uh, In my case, leader F um, or the leader K is space. So whenever I press leader F, I expect the formatter to kick in and format my file. Um, one example of that would be let's go back. To, let's go back to my playground. If I pick, uh, let's say this file main.js, um, and let's assume that it is not formatted. If I press leader or space F. Now the file is formatted as uh, as per the default configuration in this case. And this is what I would expect it uh, to happen for C and C++ files. But as you can see, if I'm pressing the F on both files, um, neither of them uh, work. Um, and um, I guess this is the time where we are using the debugger. Um, there is um, a standard way to debug Lua files or Lua programs in NeoVim. So the solution that I came with right now, it, it isn't entirely mine. I have drawn some inspiration from, from here, I think, yeah, from this, uh, from this repo, which has some instructions as uh, to how you can uh, debug um, debugging session. It is essentially a way to debug uh, Lua files, if I'm not wrong. But since uh, plugins are essentially Lua files, then you can use this example in in my situation. Um, 
so I'm not going to bother you with the instructions with these instructions we are simply going to apply them and see what the problem is um, because uh, uh, this is the main topic of this video to also solve a problem through uh, debugging so that I can show that um, uh, debugging is actually very useful and um, even at even as a, a last resort so the steps are the following first you will need two new vim instances which is uh, something that we already have on the first instance we will need to start a debugger server i'm not exactly sure how debugging works under the hood but we'll need that um, and it, it sort of makes sense to some extent um, and for that there is a command that i'm going to bring it is this one so this playground instance will have the debugger server open on port 8086 and the server has started now i'm going to the other instance where i plan to debug my uh, lua file and um, for that i'm going to first of all attach the debugger to it now i'm going to place a breakpoint at this point and the next step is to copy this file path and uh, use this very cool command uh, that is provided by NeoVim, which I'm not exactly sure what it does, um, but for now it is important that it just works. And now I'm going to um, um, execute this command, which is lua file, and as an argument, I, I provide the path to the file that I want to debug. And now the debugger should be attached. Yep. Yeah. And the next step is to press leader F and I will see that uh, the breakpoint should be hit, hopefully. Now I, I've pressed uh, leader F to format my file and now you see that the, 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 um, the breakpoint has indeed been hit. And now the journey starts, the fun part start, uh, starts and that is to find out why isn't my, um, my Stilang format program kicking in to format my file. Um, yeah, and let's step, step into the function. Uh, now it is going to get the current buffer, which is uh, an, a new Vim or a Vim API. Now we are into this conform. As you can see um, in the bottom of the screen, we are in the conform init Lua. And conform is used for, um, for providing, if I'm not wrong, um, formatting extensions to a new Vim. Um, now there is a lot of code i'm going to simply or i'm going to try at least to not uh, waste too much time in here but um, yeah um, i just want to show you where the problem is so that um, um, it can make maybe this um, example of the of, of debugging more uh, more meaningful um, Of course, I have solved this problem before, uh, and I know where the problem lies, but I want to show you maybe um, the obvious part, where the things are very obvious, but for some reason I, I don't recall exactly where that is. Um, I think I lost it, to be honest, the point. Uh, the point where uh, the problem is obvious. But anyway, um, the gist remains that um, from this point on, all you need is time and a bit of patience to go through it and uh, try to see where the problem lies. And I promise you that this is the way I've solved my problem. And the simple, um, and the simple um, answer to this is, uh, for instance, um, if I go to, if I open a new terminal and I go to uh, this path. Um, conform in it and I press and I um, type ls if I go to the formatters and if I now list all of the items here and if I uh, and I uh, explicitly search for uh, stilang here is a problem and this is how I've discovered it because at some point uh, through the debugging I see a place where this uh, library checks uh, the available formatters and for some reason config lua those two words are not separated by a dash but by an by an underline 
and this is how I solve the problem and this is basically uh, a proof that um, um, this is the case um, and this uh, this uh, things here that I'm showing you is uh, basically the the solution to my problem which is to use an underline instead of a dash um, yeah and now if I go to the now if I first of all finish the or terminate the debugging session um, now if I instead let's go to the C++ configuration and, and if I replace the dash with an underline now if I now I, I've saved the, um, the config now if I go back to, to my playground quit and um, open again new vim now if I go to the main.cpp file if I now press letter F the formatting works and that um, is just an example that um, the solution that I came up with that I came up with is uh, is the right one but um, the gist for this video is uh, that you can debug uh, NeoVim Lua plugins and uh, in this video I tried I'm not sure I fully I was fully able to show you um, the power of debugging but um, I've shown you that it is possible to debug NeoVim plugins and uh, by having maybe some patience and some time you can inspect how a plugin works under the hood which is I think which I think is a great way to also learn uh, one one of one or two adjacent things to your main library um, yeah and I think uh, this would be it for this video and I will see you in the next one